If you've recently unboxed your very own OnePlus 6T, you'll find a lot to like and a lot of new features to get to grips with. So, as you're getting to know your new phone, we've narrowed down the first six things you need to do on your new OnePlus 6T. Let's take a look. The first is actually something you might want to not do. That's a little weird, but I'll explain. If you've used a OnePlus phone before, you'll be familiar with the crappy factory-fitted screen protectors that usually come with them. Only this time, the 6T's pre-fitted screen protector actually isn't bad. It has an oleophobic coating, unlike the older ones, so it doesn't get gunked up with finger grease quite so much. You might still want to take it off eventually, like I did, but if you were going to replace the factory-fitted screen protector with a decent quality one anyway, well, OnePlus just saved you some time and money. The OnePlus 6T has the same excellent face unlock we've been using for more than a year, and of course the new and much hyped in-screen fingerprint tech as well. The setup walks you through part of this, but you'll want to get to grips with both before you start using the phone full time. Usually that means enrolling both your thumbs and index fingers at least, and getting the hang of how in-screen fingerprint actually works. It's not like a traditional fingerprint scanner, and you'll need to firmly press right in the center of the sensor to get reliable results. Lighter presses won't be read as clearly by the sensor, and you'll have a frustrating time if you try to use it like the normal capacitive fingerprint readers on older OnePlus phones. Oh, and while you're at it, you probably want to go into the settings and change the default unlock animation to something a little bit less crazy. OnePlus has a long history of customization, letting you tweak the look of OxygenOS to fit your own personal style. Although the display notch is smaller and much easier on the eyes this time, you can still black out the areas either side of it to make it less conspicuous. Out of the box, there's this bright white pixel style theme by default, but go to the display settings and you can choose a more colourful theme, which has a darker notification shade and looks a bit more like what you might be used to on the OnePlus 6 or 5T. There's also a full dark theme if you want to save power as well. Like before, these themes affect the look of OnePlus's own apps, like the Launcher and Messages app, as well as the general system UI. And if you choose the dark or light themes, you can actually choose the colour, and I mean any colour here, you can even enter a hex value if you want, for your accents. Plus there are some new live wallpapers to play with, abstract light patterns that flow into place when you unlock the phone. There are three to choose from found at the end of the list of static wallpapers. While we're talking customization, you probably want to enable ambient display, which is still curiously disabled out of the box. Ambient display lets you see your time and notification icons without lighting up the whole screen, and with a 3700mAh battery, the 6T has plenty of juice to do this without it making too much of a dent in your longevity. Alternatively, you can just set it to display when you pick up the phone or tap the screen. Another related feature here is the ability to flash notifications up on the ambient display as they arrive, which I found super useful. Probably the biggest choice to get to grips with is which navigation paradigm you're going to use on the OnePlus 6T. The phone has the best selection of ways to go back, home, or view your recent apps that we've seen on pretty much any Android phone. The tried and true three button arrangement is here by default, you've also got a pixel style two button option with just back and home, where you can swipe up for recent apps or drag the home button to quickly hop between apps. Or there's OnePlus's full screen gesture setup, which is a lot like what you see on iOS these days. Swipe up to go home, swipe and release to go back, or do a quick diagonal swipe to hop to the previous app. To go back, flick up from the left or right side. And if you do like to use full screen gestures, you can also map Google Assistant to a half second press of the power key. If you're not using full screen gestures though, you might want to drill down to this submenu, where you can set shortcuts to a long press of any of the on-screen keys. Something I like to do is set a long press of the back button to bring down the notification shade. Finally, you'll want to test out OnePlus's biggest camera upgrade yet, the new Nightscape mode that aims to help you take clearer, brighter photos in the dark. You'll find it in the carousel of shooting modes here, and it takes much longer to process, but in the end gives you a brighter image with less noise and more colour. Nightscape isn't as mind-blowingly awesome as Google's Night Sight on the Pixel 3, but it's a good upgrade to an already decent camera setup, and definitely worth playing with once your 6T is up and running. So there you go, some tips for getting started with your OnePlus 6T. If you've picked up this phone, let us know how you're getting on in the comments, and be sure to subscribe and check out our full 6T review if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.